columnist Dorothy Black is joining us in studio. Now she's going to introduce us to the concept of bisexuality. Dorothy, we often hear people saying that bisexuality isn't actually a thing. Um, they say maybe maybe the person is gay and they just don't want to admit it, or, or they're just being greedy, they want everyone um, to have sexual experiences with. What has your experience been like with bisexuality? Yeah, well I think when it comes to bisexuality, we, we limit our sexuality so much, it's so polar. We either want to put people in like a homosexual box or in a you know, straight box, and we kind of ignore everything in between. And anything that sli like slips out of those boxes, we then label as being you know, greedy or confused or actually gay. And I think that that actually, um, you know, the, the thing with bisexuality is that it is being emotionally and like romantically and physically attracted to people of both sexes. Mm -hmm. And that is a possibility, and that happens. There are people who are properly 100% bisexual. And we need to start realizing that and incorporating the fact that it's not just gay and straight, there's bisexuality, pansexuality, asexuality, people express and experience their sexuality in many different ways. Why do you think that there are these very two defined, exp not explanations, versions of sexuality, if you will? Oh, geez, we've only just gotten one, it's like one other one. We're so used to seeing the world as just straight, as incredibly heteronormative, man likes woman, woman likes man. We've only just started seeing that there might be, you know, man like man and woman like woman. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the, the fact that we've got this incredibly polarized view is because we haven't allowed ourselves, society hasn't allowed ourselves, our culture hasn't allowed ourselves, tradition, like any way you bring it, we haven't really allowed ourselves to explore anything outside of a very net heteronormative paradigm, which is man likes woman. And so now we can kind of get our heads around a homosexual experience, and now we're asking people to kind of, you know, really go out there and think of like a gray sexuality where someone could like many different sexes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's confusing. And so we kind of polarize things because it makes it easier, and yet we've only just kind of gotten used to the polarization. All right, you mentioned asexuality and pansexuality. Can right. you explain to us what that is? Well, you know, the funny thing with sex is, is that we kind of just assume that everybody is... Um, that has a sexuality towards, they're sexually attracted towards something. Asexual people don't necessarily want to have sex for orgasm. They don't necessarily mm -hmm. feel turned on sexually. It doesn't mean they don't like cuddles. It doesn't mean they don't like physical attention, but they don't necessarily want to have sex. Okay, so that's asexuality. Pansexuality um, are people who are sexually attracted to anybody. It doesn't matter what your gender is. It doesn't matter how you assign gender to yourself, the sex of your body, how, what your sexuality is, pansexuals are basically attracted to, uh, to people, full stop.